Hello everyone. In my last video, I had covered a strategy called the wait and trade strategy and how you can build your uh, build your variables at 915 and then trade based on that particular uh, wait and trade logic. However, in this video, I will answer some of the very frequently asked questions by uh, that that we got on our on our support mail and on the comment section. Um, one one very 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 much asked question was that in case we want to generate the variables at at 9:15, we can use this initialize variables. But let's say if we want to generate the variables at a separate time, let's say 9:20 or 9:25 or let's say 9:27. Uh, in that case, what do you do? So uh, there is no real way to generate a variable at a uh, at a time other than 9:15 using initialize variable. But there is one hack that you can use that will be a fairly easy hack for anyone who wants to generate variables at any particular point of time. So in order to do that, what I will do is I will uh, I will set up uh, set up a new set in my strategy. I'll make a new set and I will trigger that set to take a trade at the time when my initial when my variables need to be generated. So I will I will basically take a trade in something small like maybe a, a far out of the money buy of an option or something like ITC, which is trading at around 300 rupees. And then I will um, I will generate my variables once that trade was taken. And using those variables, I will use my uh, use the variables generated in my entry condition of my uh, set one and set two to take to trigger my wait and trade logic. So let me just show you how to how to trigger your trade at uh, at your specific point of time. So in my example, I will use ITC. So uh, I basically uh, want to change my logic, wherein I want to take a trade at let's say um, 9:27. So I'll use time is greater than number 9:27, and I will also use a position. I will also use a position detail um, in order to uh, in order to um, uh, control the control the number of trades. So at 9.27, I will check if there is one trade of uh, ITC and if in case there is no trade for ITC, in that case, I want a trade to be executed in ITC. So this, this condition checks for no, no existing trades in ITC and then I will close this and at this point, I will generate a buy for uh, a stock called ITC. All right. I'll select my quantity as one just so that the trade gets executed. And I will close this. Now what I will do is that once that we have already followed that first entry happens, then the position is taken, then the runtime variable is generated. So at the time my position is taken, I now want to generate the runtime variables for my call instrument, put instrument, um, uh, call instrument strike, put instrument strike and the uh, call instrument price and put instrument price. This is exactly the same thing that we had done out here, the initialize variable. So just like the variables we made out here, similarly we will make all these variables in my set 3 runtime variable. So I'll just use, uh, I'll just show it to you for call. You can use the same thing for put just to save up on time. So in order to generate my call instrument name, I will use uh, the instrument name keyword. And in there, I will select uh, NFO and I'll select Nifty 50. Now I'll select current week uh, call and my uh, option type will be ATM. After I submit it, I will uh, click on save. And now I will similarly generate my call uh, strike. And in order to generate the strike, I will use my keyword round. And using round, I will select it and my base will be 50 and my instrument name will be NFO Nifty 50. Basically, I want the spot based uh, based or actually I want the futures based strike of Nifty 50. And now I will close this. I'll again save this. Similarly, I will now make the uh, call instrument price. And again, I'll select FX and I'll and in LTP, I'll select my instrument name as NFO.
निफ्टी फिफ्टी करंट वीक कॉल एटीएम एंड ओके एंड आई विल सबमिट दिस नाउ आई विल सेव दिस सो यू कैन सी आई हैव मेड माय कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट नेम कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट स्ट्राइक पुट इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड कॉल इंस्ट्रूमेंट प्राइस सिमिलरली आई विल डू द सेम फॉर पुट and uh, once you you make the whole thing for put you can just close this dialog box and in my uh, in my exit condition builder i'll just uh, have a condition that um, uh, if if time um, is greater than the entry time and within entry time I'll select my underlying as ITC. Now, using this logic, it will uh, basically sense that let's say at 9:27, my trade was taken in ITC. Uh, once the trade is taken, my runtime variable will be generated. After the runtime variable, at let's say 9:28, this uh, this strategy will figure out that okay, the time is 9:28, which is more than the entry time of ITC at 9:27. and thus it will square off my position in itc and since i have a position detail out here it will not take a separate uh, a retrade in in itc again so that is how uh, i can i can generate my runtime variable at pretty much any time i like um one one thing that you can uh, you can do uh, is that you can delete this initialize variables from your so i will delete it delete all these initialize variables that i had made because obviously i will not need this anymore now after doing this i will also add a check in my entry condition that my itc trade has to have happened so in order to do that i will i'll use position detail and i will check if my entry in itc has happened so in order to check if the entry has happened i will just select entry is not equal to number 0 so this entry not equal to number 0 will basically mean that itc has taken a trade um since itc has taken a trade all my variables called ce price and uh, pe price and so on would have also been generated so i will submit this i'll do the same in my uh, in my exit uh, leg and i will now again use uh, position detail or actually i can just copy this position detail paste it uh i'll select all and in my underlying i'll select itc and then you can select okay is not equal to number 0 so this will make sure that uh, these conditions are already checked after your uh, itc trade has happened so this is one way by which uh, you can you can basically achieve uh, your wait and trade logic and the conditions will be checked that uh, your your wait and trade uh, can be set to any particular time you like if you want to change it from 927 to whatever is is your particular time of reference and through that you, you can again have a wait and trade so um, i hope this video was helpful if you have any other topics that you would like us to cover feel free to drop us a mail at support@tradetron.tech and we would love to help you out with that so thank you for your time have a nice day bye